Blake Lively is transforming into character for her latest role in the live adaptation of Colleen Hoover's famous book, It Ends With Us. The Gossip Girl alum was spotted sporting some new red hair while on set of the upcoming movie in Jersey City. In the snaps, the 35-year-old sports a colorful quilt jacket, red cargo pants, and black boots as she walks around on set. Earlier in the week, the shallow star was spotted on set alongside her co-star, Justin Baldoni. In January, it was announced that Blake would return to the big screen alongside the Jane the Virgin alum. Justin is also directing the project. It Ends With Us follows a small-town girl named Lily Bloom who moves to Boston to start her own business. There, she falls in love with her neurosurgeon named Ryle Kincaid, but things take a turn. The novel was a top-selling book in 2022 and was on the New York Times best-selling list for over 90 weeks, as well as gaining major popularity on TikTok. This will be Blake's first film since 2020. The Age of Adeline star could also be reprising her role in the upcoming A Simple Favor sequel with Anna Kendrick. The Up in the Air star stopped by Axis Hollywood in December and looked back at some of the films that made her famous, including Twilight and Pitch Perfect. Anna Kendrick is getting rave reviews for her performance in her new movie, Alice Darling, but it was 15 years ago that Anna got her big break with Twilight. Remember that? She told us all about one of her favorite memories. I'm Mario Lopez. See you next time. On the first Twilight, we had to throw our own rap party because it was just like some tiny movie that probably wasn't going to make any money. Of course, Twilight was a huge success. Anna went on to star in more huge movies like the Pitch Perfect films. I like the way you work for no digging. I feel really corny when I say like, oh, they're my family, but truly they're, they're like family. But her first headlining role was in Up in the Air with George Clooney. I mean, he is like just one of the best human beings on the planet. Like everything that you want him to be, he is. Right before we started the first take, he goes, oh, do you get nervous when you start a movie? I get so nervous. <laughs> and looking back on it, I'm like, no, you don't. You have been in this industry for so long, but it was such a generous thing for him to say to me because I was terrified. Alice. Please, please go away. Please go away. Please go away. Please go away. Anna's character in Alice Darling is a departure from what we're used to seeing. Anna stars as a woman who's in an abusive relationship. I feel like um, something that's important for me um, that actually the film kind of explores is that um, the most important thing that you can do as a friend or a, as a support system if somebody that you know is in crisis like this is to be able to be around them and show up for them even when they're not okay.